Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike, and today I want to do a quick update on the Sable Lisa seedlings, which I haven't done an update on in a little while. And I've had I have some good and bad news. Um, I did lose a couple more seedlings since the last one year update video I did. Um, I had transplanted, I basically took them all out of the one gallon pot I had them in, and I kind of separated because um, I only had six left after the first video. There was a seventh one in the pot in the video that was already dead, and I went ahead and pulled that one out, and I went ahead and separated these two, uh, two of them in each one of these tall pots. So I had three. So I had two, two, and two. And then the other third pot had the two smaller ones in them, and those weren't really growing that much. And it seemed like once I transplanted them, they just completely declined. And uh, got a spear pull on one of them, and then the other one just shriveled and just completely, um, within just days, it was it was dead. So um, I'm only left with four. It actually probably looks like there's more of them in there, but these have really shot out a lot of strap leaves over the summer. And um, so you can see there's like there's one here, there's one back here, and then this one right here up front, and then one back here. So uh, they're doing quite well. The strap leaves are getting very tall. Um, and I know they're kind of getting a little, you know, a little twisty, a little curly. I don't know if that means anything as far as, if it, you know, if that means that's going to be the Lisa mutation or not. I know about maybe, I hear about 70, 75% of the seeds end up being a Lisa mutation, and then the rest just end up being the sable palmetto. So I'm hoping that these four come out, or at least one of these four comes out as a Lisa. So we'll have to wait and see. I think it's going to be... Um, I think you have to kind of wait and see once the fan fronds come out. I think that's the way to identify it. I'm not sure if you identify them at this age yet. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments because um, it'd be nice to know if there's a way to tell if these are already the Lisa mutation or not. But I think it takes a couple years to to see those um, um, those features come out. So. Anyway, I just want to do a quick update on that. I'm really, um, I'm really staying positive on these four. I think they're going to make it. I think the other ones just weren't, they just weren't in the ideal conditions for them, and they just didn't have the, they didn't have the will to live, I guess. So, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I, um, I'm probably going to pick up more videos um, at the new place, so that will be very exciting. I'll probably be doing a lot more too. So, that will be great. Thank you again for. Tuning in, and I will see you next time.